Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about beta turns. So beta turns are one type of secondary structure found in protein. In my earlier videos we have talked about other secondary structures such as alpha helices and beta pleated sheet. If you miss those, you can find their link in the i button. Now let me tell you that protein structure could have different levels. Starting from primary structure, then secondary structure, then tertiary and quaternary structures. And we are now focusing on the secondary structures. Among the secondary structures, the most common ones are alpha helices and beta pleated sheet. Now here, beta turns are kind of ignored, less talk about things. But in this video, we would try to highlight their structural features, their importance, etc. So stay tuned till the end of this video. In fact, one third of the structural elements of a globular protein is actually beta turn. So beta turn is not an uncommon structure in terms of a protein. Now let me tell you that these beta turns could be a part of super secondary structure or super secondary motif, such as shown here. They consist of generally four amino acid residues. So they are very simple in terms of structure. Now, there could be glycine and proline found in these kind of structures. Both proline and glycine increase the flexibility and hence they are generally found in beta turns and remember they were absent from alpha helices. Now, glycine and proline can be present both or might not, I mean one might be present and other might not be present. Here the four residues are named as I, I plus 1, 2 and 3, where there is a hydrogen bond exists between the carbonyl oxygen of ith residue and the amino group of I plus third residue. And this is major for the stability of this beta turn. Now let me remind you that proline are generally not found in alpha helices and if proline is present it would create a kink in the alpha helices. A a bend in the alpha helices and which would destabilize the structure. But these kind of proline residues or glycine residues are essential for formation of beta turns where flexibility and bending is the property which is required. Now there could be different types of beta turn and these nitty gritty details depends upon the phi and the psi angle of I plus 1 and I plus 2 residues. So here is a list of I plus 1 and I plus 2 residues phi and psi angle based on that there are four categories of beta turn type 1 type 2 type 1 dash and 2 dash now in a Ramachandran plot you can see these beta turns in different location so the type 1 would be found here in the bottom part where in the the type 2 would be found in the upper quadrant so and these differences are due to inverted peptide bond. So those differences occurs due to different phi and psi angle. That is why they are placed at a different location along the Ramachandran plot. So that was all about beta turns. It was a very quick and short video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.